Starting soon, we will be doing a new version of the show we've been doing for six and a half years to Twitter. Tucker promised without elaborating on what soon means. We'll bring some other things too, which we'll tell you about. But for now, we're just grateful to be here. He closed with, Free speech is the main right that you have. Without it, you have no others. In fewer than 20 minutes, the video had over 700,000 views, which is more viewers than anyone at CNN earns. Earlier this month, Fox News removed Carlson from the air. The results for Fox have so far been catastrophic. The Cuck outlet was already on probation with its viewers for Cuck moves like calling Arizona early on election night 2020, an obvious attempt to meddle on behalf of Joe Biden. Now that Fox has fired its top star, the one guy Trump voters saw as their champion, ratings have cratered over there. Fox might rebound. They always have before. As of now, though, Fox firing Tucker looks about as wise as killing John Wick's dog. Yes, I realize he's not officially fired. He's still on contract. But let's not be pedantic. In the aftermath of Tucker's removal from the air, selective leaks out of Fox News obviously meant to damage Carlson only proved he was the same guy off the air as on. And now Carlson's doing exactly what I predicted within hours of the firing, taking his following with him. You see, that's where Fox News screwed up. In the past, Fox has fired or lost people that were not bigger than Fox News. For example, in the case of Megyn Kelly and Bill O'Reilly, Fox made them who they were. This is not true with Carlson, and now he's making a move to Twitter, where he will work for only one man, Elon Musk. Imagine how good this will be for Twitter. According to the far-left site Axios, Carlson is going to war with Fox News. He's accusing the cuck outlet of violating his contract. Carlson's contract runs until January 2025, reports Axios. That's after the presidential election. Fox, of course, would like to continue paying him to keep him off the air. Moving to Twitter would almost certainly be seen by Fox as Carlson violating his contract. Carlson's lawyers have written a letter to Fox accusing them of violating his contract. The letter, from Carlson lawyer Brian Friedman to Fox officials Viet Din and Irina Briganti, said Fox employees, including Rupert Murdoch himself, broke promises to Carlson, intentionally and with reckless disregard for the truth. The lawyer is declaring some of these broken promises. Fraud. Notably, the letter alleges Fox broke an agreement with Carlson not to leak his private communications to the media and not to use Carlson's private messages to take any adverse employment action against him. Carlson is also claiming that Briganti, Fox's longtime communications and PR chief, attempted to undermine, embarrass, and interfere with Carlson's future business prospects, which he maintains would constitute another breach of his employment contract. Make no mistake, we intend to subpoena Ms. Briganti's cell phone records and related documents, which evidence communications with her and all media, including, but not limited to the New York Times. The letter from Carlson's lawyer said, Carlson's lawyers told Fox News that with litigation likely it needs to preserve all existing documents and data. My reading of this is that Carlson wants out of his contract, believes Fox News violated his contract with these low-rent leaks, and Fox can either face another massive, potentially embarrassing lawsuit or let him go. One thing Tucker promised in the video above is that his new Twitter show will tell you stories about what it's like to work in a dishonest corporate media outlet that constantly lies to the public, especially through omission. He adds that the media only allow its staffers to tell so much of the truth, the approved amount, and if you bump up against those limits often enough, you will be fired for it. That's not a guess. Carlson adds, that's guaranteed. The rule of what you can't say defines everything. It's filthy, really, and it's utterly corrupting. 